Hello, amazing human, and welcome to Neurodivergent Bites, a podcast for neurodivergent entrepreneurs to understand systems, change the narrative about productivity, and embrace yourself for who you really freaking are. If your energy is being sucked, you're struggling to focus, or you know you need systems, but there's a disconnect for whatever reason, join your host, that's me, Carolee Galt, along with fellow amazing humans on how being a neurodivergent entrepreneur has impacted the way they do life and business. If you're looking for bite-sized action steps, you're in the right place. Hello, hello, amazing humans. Welcome back to Neurodivergent Bites. I am your host, Kara Lee, and today we're going to be talking about a very hot topic of time blocking versus time boxing, okay? And there are really simple differences, and they can be used in tangent, and they are both types of scheduling methods. Now, If you are a neurodivergent entrepreneur, you might actually struggle with this thing called time blocking, and you might actually excel a little bit more with time boxing, okay? Both of them can be used together, and as we are all unique individuals, one one type of method might not work for you completely, but like a variety of them. We always want to create our systems or or our methods, our tactics, our processes to work with our brain. And so your approach to this might be completely different than, you know, the person sitting next to you's approach. So I have personally come up with a framework. It's called a T3 Flex framework, and it actually utilizes a form of time blocking and a form of time boxing. Okay, so time blocking is going to be like when you 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 think of this when you are growing up. Okay, when you're growing up, at least in the U.S., you know, you got up in the morning, you went to school, you came home, you know, you, you, those were blocks of time and you had to be in a certain place at a certain time. And then time boxing, right? Time boxing is going to be like, we're going to spend X amount of time on this specific thing. And then when the timer is done, we're done. Okay. So you can see how these can be, these scheduling methods, these time management methods can be very useful, especially if you use them together, okay? So in the T3 Flex framework, we actually use a form of the time blocking, but in a completely different way. And we're not going to go into it on this podcast because I do have the schedule accelerator available to you. And if you're watching, if you're listening to this podcast live, it is actually going to be in the next couple of weeks. So you can go ahead and grab your free spot there. You can head to the show notes and grab the link for that. All right, because there's so many components to it. If I told you a little bit about it right now, it would almost be a disservice to you. But we do integrate time blocking and time boxing together in a very unique way. So, and it is essentially, it's able to allow you to be able to take all this pressure off that you have on your on yourself when it comes to your time and be able to use this method to be able to be able to, you know, to reduce the pressure on and stress to be able to get more time back and be able to get, you know, check more things off your list, okay? So that is what we're gonna learn in the Schedule Accelerator, so make sure you grab your spot below and we can go from there. But we're gonna get back to what are the biggest differences. So the biggest difference between time blocking and time boxing is is that a time block literally has specific times attached to it. And it's literally like a start and end time. Time boxing does not. In time boxing, you're essentially using a timer to be able to start working on a task and then you can end on a task, all right? Or in that same task when the timer goes off. If you've heard of the Pomodoro technique, it's actually a form of time boxing. And so the Pomodoro technique is actually the little like uh, tomato timer, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, And the Pomodoro technique is where you set a timer for 25 minutes and you, you know, you work on that task for 25 minutes. When it goes off, you have a five minute break, you get up, you stretch, you move around, you get more coffee, definitely more coffee. And then you sit back down and you, you start on the task again. And so that's called a Pomodoro, you know, that 25 plus five is a Pomodoro and then you start over. So you could do a couple of Pomodoros, two Pomodoros in an hour, right? You can do, if you have a two hour sprint, you could do four of them, whatever you want. There's also another form of this time focused thing that we could throw in there that is using a Pomodoro technique or time boxing, time blocking. It's kind of like a mixture of all of them really, um, as my brain is processing all of these things right now. Um, but it's a, a co-working, 
okay? So body doubling. Ordinarily, you're using a form of time blocking or time boxing when you're body doubling or co-working because you have a confined time and then you decide what you're working on inside of it. And sometimes when you're doing co-working, they'll actually utilize the Pomodoro technique where it's 25, like you, in the beginning, you say what you're working on, what your goal are, what your goals are for this session, and then you work for 25 minutes, then you have like a little check-in in the middle, right? And you, you know, chat for five minutes or you, you know, you check in, you get up, you know, like I said, you get the coffee, all the things, right? Then you sit back down and you start the, the second Pomodoro of that 25 minutes. And then that last five minutes is, is what did I get accomplished? You know, how did I do, you know, what do I need? Like in, in theory, the body doubling and the co-working, right? Those are just two different words for the same thing, essentially. Um, body doubling is the thing. Co-working is how you do it. Um, one way of how you do it. Okay. Um, so basically what the, the thought is, is that you're able to get more done when you're co-working or body doubling because you're able to focus more because there's someone else working with you. And if you're neurodivergent, this is a huge productivity boost to you. And you can utilize that with your time blocking and your time boxing. And then when you put it in with my T3 flex framework, like we got gold. All right. And so I want to teach you this T3 flex framework. Um, live here soon so you can ask questions and everything but you got to grab that link in the show notes to be able to join me okay so if you have any questions about time blocking or time boxing or the pomodoro technique or co-working body doubling all of that i would love for you to you know fill out the podcast topic request form that is located in the show notes as well and if you any of you don't have a question about any of those things i would absolutely love for you to fill that form out because I would love to be able to record podcasts that are really riveting and answer your questions. Like I want to do this for you. This is fun for me because it is my f way to be creative and educate and just, you know, have fun. But it's also for you because I want to be able to support you as my loyal listeners and any new people that are around here as well. This is for you. So I would love your input on this. And if you would like to send me a DM, head to one of the social media platforms that are available below as well, whatever your preference is, and send me a DM and we can chat, okay? I want to be able to support you and get you into the right programs, um, get you into, you know, the right support in general, as we provide a lot of support around here at the Productivity Impact here. The Neurodivergent Bites podcast is just one form of support. Um, and so I would love to be able to get you more into the network and be able to support you even more. So if you have any questions, make sure you reach out, fill out that podcast topic request form. And if you'd like to be a guest on the podcast, we are in the process of bringing more guests on. Go ahead and head to the show notes and uh, grab that contact information for being a guest on the podcast, okay? I love you all. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you next week. Bye for now. Before I wrap up today's episode, I want to thank you for joining me on this journey to empower neurodivergent entrepreneurs. I hope that you've gained valuable insights and a fresh perspective on productivity and self-acceptance. No matter where you are in your entrepreneurial journey, I'm here to support you. These transformative conversations will equip you with bite-sized action steps that you can apply immediately. Let's redefine productivity on our own terms and create a business that aligns with who we truly are. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to receive the latest episodes and join our amazing community of neurodivergent humans. Remember, being unique is our superpower and together we can rewrite the rules of success.